when you visit the library, please keep in mind, no running, no shouting, to all books be kind. But there's one rule that's bigger than the rest, and it must be followed by all of our guests. Bring your dragon to the library. A dragon is sometimes a very rude beast. At story time, he'll take up ten spaces at least. A dragon's big bottom can pack a real punch. Each time he sits down, you'll hear a great crunch. So do not bring your dragon to the library. You may ask her to come to a library show, but trouble will start with the first song she knows. Her swaying hips will crowd your space with a dragon jig that has no grace. So do not bring your dragon to the library. Maybe you're thinking, don't worry, it's fine. There's plenty of space in that library of mine. Perhaps that's true, but he's sure to roam. Then you'll be wishing you had left him at home. So do not bring your dragon to the library. You see, aisles of books are hard to resist. She's sure to find sections that cannot be missed. As she starts to read, she could overexcite, and then chances are her flame will ignite. So do not bring your dragon to the library. I know, I know, what you're saying is true. But leaving him home will make me quite blue. It's my favorite place. Please listen to me. My dragon would love our library. Movies and computers and places to read. Tales of heroes and adventure. Of good and of greed, cookbooks and bios. Oh, listen to my plea. May I please bring my dragon to the library? I'm afraid, my kind friend, I cannot agree. A dragon in the library? It simply can't be. But don't fret, don't frown. I have a solution. Listen now to my smart substitution. Your dragon should not miss the library treasures. Just take home some books for her reading pleasure. 
If you use your card often, you will very soon see that you never have to bring your dragon to the library.